Hold the power button continuously. This is in real time. Once the options appear on the screen, let go. Click on the options, then continue. Click on your name and click next. Type in your password, click continue. Go to the top of the screen and click Utilities, then Start Up Security Utility. Then click Unlock, then enter your password, unlock the disk, click on Security Policy. Yours will be at full security. Click reduce security, then allow user management, then click OK. And then restart your disk. And wait for your computer to boot. Plug in your DDJ1000 into your MacBook. Open record box. Click on my page. Then here are the links to the drivers. At the bottom, click on important notice for Mac users. Click on Mac OS Big Sur compatibility. Click on this link here. Here is a list of controllers that are compatible. Mine is the DDJ1000. We go across to the other side, click on the link, click on firmware update, click on Mac, scroll down and downlink, download the file for the controller. It will go to your download folder. Go to system preferences. Go to privacy at the top of the page. Click privacy and unlock. Then go back to your downloads folder. This file is to update your controller, double click. Have it ready. Switch on your controller. Double click on the firmware update. Click open and install it. I'm not going to do it because I've already done it. Once you have installed the firmware update for your controller, then you need to get the drivers for your MacBook. Back on the firmware page, go to the driver link. It's 3.0.0. .0. Scroll down the page and then download the folder. Go back to record box and close my page. Click on the gear icon. On record box, click the gear icon. Go to audio. Click driver. And go to the downloads folder once you click it. And select the 3.00 driver for record box. Which will make your MacBook Pro work. Then install it. Before loading the driver on, get your privacy screen up, move it to one side. Once you've 
started loading the driver on, you may be asked to allow the security seconds on this page once it's installed. If the screen pops up, click allow. Loaded a demo track from Pioneer so I don't get a strike from YouTube. Click play. <laughs> See, it's now playing. Job done.